Drones, unmanned aircraft that can be piloted from anywhere. They're used as weapons by America, its allies, and its enemies. Now another one has been added to the arsenal, one too fast for the naked eye even to track. And instead of carrying a missile, it is the missile. It's called the Switchblade 300. Recently, its creators held the first public demonstration. With exclusive access, here's NBC News national security correspondent Ken Delanian. Amid the quiet beauty of the Utah desert, a deadly new kind of weapon on display. NBC News got an exclusive look at a so-called killer drone. Yeah, so it doesn't a fire a missile, it the, is the missile. This is about the size of a toy drone I bought my 12-year-old a few years ago. The switchblade can be carried into battle in a backpack and launch miles away from a threat. Once a target is identified, the switchblade can find it and kill it in minutes. Launching. Aerovironment, the drone's manufacturer, showed us how an operator All right, starting our turn. can put a switchblade through the window of a truck. Onboard cameras capture the moment before impact. How far away was the switchblade when it took that picture? Uh, about three meters from the target. At about $6,000 each, the switchblade costs a fraction of the $150,000 Hellfire missiles fired from larger military drones. The Pentagon has made deadly mistakes using drones, including in August, when the U.S. military fired at what it thought was an ISIS target, but instead killed 10 civilians, including seven children. Officials told NBC News analysts saw a child in the target area, but the missile had already been launched. The Afghan-born CEO of Aerovironment says their weapon can cancel an attack up to two seconds before impact. You can make decisions while you're flying the, uh, the, the missile in the air as to what to do during your mission. But the development of smaller, cheaper drones, already being used on the battlefield, pose new dangers for the U.S. too. Paul Shar, a retired U.S. Army Ranger, says weapons like these change the game. It levels the playing field between the U.S and terrorist groups or rebel groups in a way that's certainly not good for the United States. Iranian-backed militias have used similar drones to attack American bases in Iraq and to target the Iraqi prime minister. The U.S. is definitely vulnerable to drone attack today. We need better defenses and we need them urgently for U.S. troops overseas. A new kind of weapon presenting a new kind of risk, both abroad and at home. For the news, I'm Ken Delanian.